Welcome to Fermax Meet webinar. In this presentation, we will see the product range and the features, the devices, that and the possibilities uh, the system offers. Fermax Meet IP system is a hundred percent IP system. That means it's compatible. It complies with the network standards. So we could install it with any switch from, from the market and any installation which is already on site in companies, buildings and relies on point-to-point -point infrastructure. That means there is no need for a central server. All the, the devices have its own intelligence and are able to communicate between them. That gives us a more efficient, flexible and more adaptable possibilities in, in an installation. Mid system provides HD video quality thanks to the high resolution cameras on the panels and high resolution screens on, on the monitors and crystal clear audio communication thanks to, to the noise cancelling on both monitors and panels. Mid projects that have internet uh, can have the call divert feature with no additional license cost. All the, the license is included in the devices and we can offer that possibility thanks to the Midme app which is available in both the Android market and the App Store market. Meet also provides additional, additional features included like the centralized alarm system that Every monitor has a seven zone input alarm, which we will see later, and we could connect any sensor, uh, which is a dry contact from, from the market to prevent against, against intrusion, fire, flood, or any other uh, alarm that you can imagine. We also provide the lift control feature, which allows the user, and the tenant, and the visitor to access only to, to the allowed floor in the building. Here are the features, the limitations of the system, the maximum number of apartments, it's 10,000 per block, maximum number of outdoor panels, 100 per block, so we could have 100 panels in block 1, 100 in block 2, etc also 100 general entrances, so it's almost an unlimited system. We could connect as many devices as we would like. Also the number of card units is 99 with uh, different addresses and each of them can have five slaves each, so that means five different guard units ringing at the same time. The wiring, wiring is done with standard CAP5 CAT6 cables on PoE devices and for the devices that are not PoE we could install PoE splitters or run two additional wires from power supplies. The maximum distances are unlimited as it's a 100% IP system. We are fully compatible with, uh, with GPON and with fiber optics to extend distances in the installations. And the configuration is done with uh, two simple things. First, we need to set the IP address of each device to have a unique IP and to set the logic of, of calling the apartment number and block number for the monitors and block number or general entrance for panel as well as then the panel number. The system includes access control integration there are readers included in, in the panels, MIFR readers. So we can manage the whole installation access control with the MIT management software, as we will see later. Here is the product range. We have divided in two, the standard and the high end range. The main difference is the standard is has not PoE, so we have to run two additional cables with 12 volt DC power. 
or install PoE splitters for, for them. The Milo panel and the Neo monitors. And the high end range. The high end range, the devices are PoE, a 15 panel that we will see later, all the devices and the width monitors. Uh, it's important to know that the main difference between the Neo monitors and the WIN monitors is only the PoE. Some markets require that the devices are PoE, some other markets they prefer devices which are not PoE. So that's the main difference. For the rest of the features, they both have uh, the, the firmware is the same, so they all have the same, the same possibilities. Here are some additional accessories, panels, dark units, etc. that the system has. And those ones in the previous slide were the main ones. So one-way panels, we have two different one-way panels, one with and without proximity. Then a full IP proximity reader with that we can manage in, in the software. The desktop card unit, management software to control the access control, all the logs of the system, also manage the alarms, we'll see it later all, all the features. A PC proximity reader to enroll the cards for the access control into the software, and then some relay modules that we will see later, but basically is to open additional doors on, on the panels. Uh, one module to open an additional door, another module to to give the possibility to open to open four additional doors on digital panels, and then the reference 9545, the mid lift control gateway, which works together with the ten relay decoders to to provide a lift control fun function. Here is how a typical installation could look. Um, the monitors installed in the apartments with uh, the alarms connected to each of the monitors, alarms for intrusion, uh, flood, fire, etc. Then we could have one-way panels in, in the installation to access specific apartments or specific places like the gym, the tennis court, like in this example. What else we can see? For example, the full IP uh, access control system, in this case for accessing the swimming pool with the tenant's cards. And then uh, main entrance with a Milo panel in this case, block entrance with a Kim panel, and control for the lift aerial cameras that we can also monitor from, from the monitors and also the guard unit that has also an IP camera connected so that means with the, when the guard uh, calls the apartment telling them that uh, they've got a visit and somebody is trying to, to access the installation so from the monitor we can see the image from the camera we can see the picture and not only have audio communication uh, but to see uh, a camera pointing to the outside and seeing really who's who's trying to to communicate with us and the mid management software to control uh, basically the access control from the whole building uh, as well as the alarms that will be received from from the monitors if, if there is any alarm in the installation So let's start with the Milo panel. There are two, two options for it. One with uh, mechanical push buttons and the other one with capacitive uh, touch, mm, touch buttons. So uh, this, camera, this panel has a HD camera. It's made of alu aluminum profile with a 4.3 inch color screen and includes the the micro reader it's included in, in, in any of them and the ip protection is ip54 for water and dust
So the one-way panel, as we have said before, there are two different one-way panels, one with uh, the card reader included and another one without, so to keep the price a bit lower in case it's no needed. And then the full IP proximity reader, which we can connect in any part of the installation. So the possibilities of the one-way panel, we can configure it to call one of the apartments or to call directly to, to the card unit, any of them in the installation. The Kim panel, so this is the most attractive panel maybe with a 10 inch screen electronic directory. Here in the picture you can see how, how it looks. You will see the list of all the, the tenants in, in the installation and we can quickly navigate to all the letters on, on the right to access the desired person and quickly quickly call them. Also we could configure an alphanumeric call so to call to the apartments with letters 7b for example in this example or 121f and it's a poe panel so some of the features you, you can read here the poe we have talked about it electronic directory alphanumeric call there is also the guest code so this is a possibility to in interface with other access control system to provide a temporary code to access the installation Additionally, we can install an HID reader inside. Uh, of course, remember the included Smifer technology, but in case in the installation they want to install an HID reader, there is also the space inside to install it. And face recognition. So I haven't talked about it before, but also the, the Milo panel has this feature. It's both available in the Milo digital and in the Kim panel and it gives us the possibility to record the pictures of the tenants, store them in, in panels so they can open the door only with their faces. <coughs> Let's start with the monitors. First we will go with the Neo monitor which is available in both 7 and 10 inch. And here you can see a bit of the looks and size case is it important so there are two sizes 7 inch and 10 inch screen capacitive both of them of course and here you can see its main functions uh, so this is the interface which is also common for the width monitors which are the POE remember they, they all share the same firmware so they can do all the things the same so here is what they can do uh, it's quite visible so you can directly call all the guards available from the installation uh, do auto on of the cameras see what's happening on the panels we can also do home to home call so call to other apartments see a call log with pictures of uh, to see when we arrive home who has called us and if we have configured it that way with a picture of who, who was calling we can set up the, the alarm if we are at home, outside or sleeping, control the lift, uh, receive messages from the mid management software and set the do not disturb mode. Those are the main icons that we can see on the screen, then the setting icon, uh, hour and date and the status of, of the alarm. The monitor has three LEDs for the missed calls, for messages received and to see the status of the do not disturb mode. Yeah, so here is uh, what I have just said, the uh, lost calls, we can review who has called us. We can record a photo from and see a, a picture from the missed call up to 64 without uh, the need of installing an additional SD card. If you install an SD card, then we can have more. But by default, up to 64, which should be enough for a normal day. <coughs> And then it comes the wind monitor, 
let me remind you the main difference between the Neo and the Wii. The Neo it's not PoE, so we have to power it with 12 volt, and the Wii monitor is PoE, so we can if we have PoE switches on the installation, then we just need to run a network cable, and this cable will contain both power and data. Here you can see the icons, exactly the same as they share the same firmware. The main difference is in the build quality. Uh, this monitor has a more robust metallic frame and a better, uh, better finish. We also have the three LEDs. In this case, it's, they are on the right, but for showing us the same, the lost calls, the messages, and the do not disturb mode. Here we see the main differences. We also have available in two sizes, seven inch and 10 inch, both with the same metallic frame, same PoE, uh, same looks. The only difference between them is that the 10 inch, instead of having one ethernet connector, it has two, we'll see later uh, the purpose of that. So we can be in two networks at the same time. This is the connector, how to, how to install on the wall the monitor. It's a connector which is common from, for every monitor, for Neo, for WIT, uh, 7 inch and 10 inch, the same connector for, for surface uh, installation, it's reference NIC 541. And there is also a flash mount uh, flash box for the, the WIT 10 inch. <coughs> So, here are the communication main features summarized. The um, possibility to, to call from, from the monitors to the panels, to the guard units or to other apartments from the same installation. During, during a, a call, we also have the possibility to switch between four additional standard IP cameras that we can have in, in the same network as MIT and we could switch to see different angles from, from the main entrance maybe, or from the way, the path of the visitor to the, to the final destination. So we can, we can follow him. And additionally, we can open up to four additional doors. So with those two features, we could be seeing the, the visitor coming and we could open the first gate later when he wrecks to the second gate, we could open it and so on so on up to four additional gates so remember the one from the panel plus four additional ones so there are total five and we can call any available guard unit in the installation from from a list do the home to home call as discussed we receive messages from the mid management software which we will see later and we can activate the do not disturb mode also, we have talked about it, the memory to record photos from the missed calls and up to 64 calls and the call log, of course, to review the, the call history from, from the day and the past days. <coughs> this is how it looks the user interface of the monitors during a call on top with an icon to change to the auxiliary cameras to take a picture from the visitor take the call, reject it, and open the door. Then we can see a, a picture of the interface of the call log with a list from the day, the time, when the call was made, and from which panel, from which card unit it was made, and if the, the, it has a, a camera, the panels, then we can see a picture from, from the visit. And then the messages, again, the same, same kind of list with the date and time and the, the message from, from the guard telling us that we have a package from Amazon or that our cousin was visiting us, whatever. <coughs> and mm, those features related to security are described here, uh, which are also important in some countries. Uh, the possibility to see the outdoor panel at any time, 
in available outdoor panel on, on your blog you can you can watch we can also send a panic sos to both the guard unit and the mid management software so directly with an icon on the monitor or with a physical push button that can be hidden somewhere and connected to the monitor we can hold it for two or three seconds and it will send an sos message uh, an alarm that will be ringing in the guard unit and into the mid management software alarms <coughs> there are three modes for the alarms home mode where we have the lowest security level possible and maybe only sensors of gas fire and so on are turned on then the sleep mode when we can activate some more some more sensors that can affect our security like uh, the door entrance for example or windows to control who is entering and then out mode being out of home when the it's the highest security level and all the sensors are on we can also have the doorbell connected to to the monitor so push button for for the doorbell with a cctv camera monitoring that means we can link our doorbell to any ip camera which is connected to the same network and as soon as we will push the doorbell button uh, in the monitor it will show us also the picture of, of the camera which can be installed in the corridor on in the access to to our main door <coughs> also we can do cctv surveillance from the monitor we can set up to eight uh, cameras per monitor uh, standard ip cameras with rtsp protocol and four of them can activate a remote relay okay for additional security and access granting there's uh, another possibility that we can connect the module reference 1616 it's a turn relay module and we can configure up to eight relays on them to use for for activate external functions like lights an engine uh, to open a gate door or start any appliance for for your garden or anything you can imagine with with a relay and can be done directly from from our monitor so this is a bit of the interface for panel auto on where we can see a list of the panels and if we press the camera icon we can see a list of the ip cameras and as soon as we press in in them we can we can watch them all throughout on <coughs> Here is the call diver function, uh, which is provided by Meet Me App. This is uh, how it looks as soon as you install it. It prompts you with uh, username and password protection, which uh, is contained in a sticker in any of, of the monitors we sell, either Neo or Wit. It's the same. All of them come with a call diver license with a username and password which can be directly by the final user uh, set in their mobile phone just simply copy the username password press accept and straight away you will be registered into the meet me app and ready to receive the the calls from from the panels it's based on a cloud server so there is no need for any other interface installation just uh, an internet connection and up to eight phones can be connected per apartment so this is how, how it works the application is available in the app store and the google play the, we can receive the, the call 
from 4G, 4G Wi-Fi. So as long as we have a, an internet connection, we'll be receiving the call. Uh, either if we are at home, just sitting in the sofa or outside, uh, anywhere in, in the city, in different country, as long as our smartphone has an internet connection available. We can do panel auto switch on and we can also monitor the call register and at any time we can open the main door. Uh, we get the still the same high resolution video and audio that we get from the panels and we can link up to eight smartphones on on each monitor so in each apartment. This uh, be below you can see a small diagram of how it would be the connection just uh, we would have our mid network with our panels our monitors uh, connected to in, in network so in, in any point we just co connect a router with access to internet and we will have this possibility of call diversion next point is the the guard unit this is mid guard unit we will see its features has a nine inch resistant touch screen. Uh, the guard unit is made of aluminum profile. We can do communication in both handset mode or hands-free, our, our choice. And we can have, as we were saying before, the centralized alarm system. It's also based on the guard unit. So the guard will be receiving alarm notifications in both a visual way from the red lab located here and uh, audible so an alarm tone notification when there is an alarm we can as we said before we can link it with an ip camera so you we can add video communication uh, pointing to to the main entrance normally so from the monitors when the car is talking to us telling us our cousin is there, so we can see it's true and it's not some random person telling us it's our cousin. Yeah, so that's the main uh, user interface. So again, very simple, big icons, easy to operate. So first icon to call any of the apartments, second icon to call any of the other guards in the installation and third button to do auto on of, of the panels so communication points the three different communication options that we've got and next to review the call log from from this concrete guard unit and the log for from for the alarm to review the the alarms <coughs> We can also record the conversations and we can have the answering machine feature in case we are not, uh, the guard is not there replying. Uh, after a few seconds, there is the, the answering machine. So we can, the, the, the tenant can record a message for the, for the guard. Okay, so let's go to the mid management software. This is a Windows software that we can install in, in any computer and it provides uh, the configuration possibility, alarm management, the possibility to see the events, the whole installation, manage the access control again in the whole installation and provide the face recognition feature to, to the panels. This is the main user interface uh, when we are installer. So we have all the options available. <coughs> and again, a very simple icon design. So we can directly uh, choose our the desired option. The first option is for sending messages where we can select if we would want to send a message to one of the apartments or a list of apartments, one of the blocks we wish then the alarm management where we can review all the monitors alarms then system management basically for configuration of the connection 
and later the access control management where we can uh, set up the new cards with the USB proximity reader that we have seen here so very simple connect it directly USB to the same PC we can start showing cards and adding them to the system and then uh, a button to authorize we have to authorize uh, the desired cards into each of the panels if, if desired and then latest and latest feature is the face recognition where we can select uh, pictures that we have taken with the webcam on laptop or with any other device and that they are stored in the computer select them and upload them to the to the panels for for accessing with with the faces okay um mid system it's also uh, an open system and with possibility to integrate with different devices from from different manufacturers for example we receive alarms and each of the monitor uh, can surveil up to eight different zones so seven zones plus a tamper for for sabotage and we can connect any detector sensor from the market fire flood gas smoke any of them based on on a contact as we said before the alarms will be both received in the card unit and into the mid management software okay and also panels have the the open door sensor and and will send this alarm to the mid management software and to the guard unit to be monitorized and stored in the logs <coughs> here we can see that sos button that we were uh, discussing before to send an alarm to the to the guard unit and to the mid management software and the city setup of the alarms very simple also the different zones so one could be fire, second gas, three door sensors, etc. And we said if we want this alarm to be active when we are at home, sleeping or out. Integration with home automation. The monitors uh, have the possibility to be connected to home automation systems by means of an Android application. So as 100%, I would say 99% of the home automation systems nowadays have an application. Then uh, we can, on Firm Access HQ, we can validate uh, this application and convert it to a format which is compatible with the monitor. And we give, therefore, the possibility to be installed in, in a project where all the monitors or part of the monitors have same the application and can activate mm, third party uh, home automation systems so uh, we have uh, the width 10 inch monitor you remember maybe you don't before i told you the width 10 inch monitor had two network interfaces so that was the only difference between the monitors in case of features the 10 inch width monitor is the monitor which is designed for home automation because with those two networks interface we ha can have two separate networks one network which will be the network mid network where we will have all the panels all the mid monitors from the installation the ip cameras guard unit etc in this part of the network and then the second port can be plugged into the private uh, network of this particular user where the home automation is so we have totally separate the two networks so nobody can access the private network from home where uh, if we need extra security there for its private home automation system and not be shared with the mid network
Also, the Kim panel provides uh, additional access control integration. Uh, as we discussed before, we have an empty allocation space for an HID reader, which can be installed inside the panel. There is a space for holding the, the reader there. Additionally, the panel can send video streaming to any recorder or to a third party application, like for example, if we can have a professional face recognition system with, uh, with temperature detection, movement detection, etc. Uh, so this video streaming can be sent to this interface, which then will decide if the panel opens the door or not. Also, it can be connected to a, a external access controllers like IP access, any of the Permax access control, or uh, a third-party external access controller via its WIGAN output. So we have simply to connect two wires to an external access control and we'll be interfacing with it. And also we have the WIGAN input to connect the different kind of Wigan readers, like a long range reader or a fingerprint reader, which are connect, uh, uh, compatible with the Wigan 26 standard. And this way it will, can be integrated. So, access control and security. So with, with the proximity reader, MIFER, or the external HID that we can connect to the KIM panel, we have the possibility to control the access to the installation. With the face recognition that we, that we set it up in the mid management software, each panel has the capacity to store 6,000 pictures. So we could do 6,000 users with one picture each, or uh, if we would like to put three different pictures of each user, then we could have up to 2,000 users per panel. We can have also pin codes, uh, set different, up to eight different pin codes to be able to access the panel, and the possibility to send the video streaming to a recorder or a monitoring place or any other device in the network. So here it is. Uh, we have our typical monitoring uh, place where we can see all the different cameras on the installation. So we also can send video of our, of our panel where it can be monitorized and recorded there. Here it is shown some of the extended functions. In this uh, slide, we can see the possibility to open four additional doors from during the call. Uh, for that, we can use the reference 1491, which is the four relay module connected to the panel, and uh, will give us the possibility to open four different doors. And also, if there are auxiliary cameras, remember, RGSP compatible, RGSP standards, and we can swap between the cameras and to be able to see the visitor through its path uh, in, the, in the installation and opening different do doors while, while on, on conversation. Another of the extended functions that we were Explaining before, but here it's more visual. We have uh, the doorbell, so an external push button, which can be connected directly to the monitor using one of the um, one of the contacts behind, and we can link it to to an IP camera. In this case, an auxiliary camera here on top. So apart from the doorbell ringing tone, we also have the picture shown on the monitor. Lift control. So the lift control allows the, the tenants to access only to his apartment floor. So we control from the panel when somebody enters the, the building 
either if it's a tenant or or a visitor um, automatically as long as the door is open uh, by recognizing the card or which monitor open the door we can control to which floor the either the tenant or the visitor access in each monitor we can also manually um, access to to this screen and activate the, the the floor of the of the user or send the lift to the ground floor this is the the connection and the device is needed the reference 9545 which is the brain mm, this is the device that controls um, which which relay to to activate and the connection is done with two wires from from the main panel the panel number one on that block so we need to send the rs45 signal to the to the control gateway which will then activate different re relays on the six, 16 16 modules which are 10 relay modules that control each of the block floors of of the installation so here you can see different uh, integration success stories uh, mid system is based on zip technology so it's compatible with uh, pbx with video telephony ip voice telephony etc and some of our integrators around the world were able to integrate it in in offices etc with different different systems and to to finish we will see some worldwide projects that are already installed or in construction with mid system this is a bit updated there are many more countries already and but it gives us a look that we are almost worldwide with our mid system so this is one of the nicest uh, views that i have seen <laughs> so this is uh, the opera in sydney which can be seen from from the apartments in this building luxury apartments so and here are the the details of, of the project two milo panels 36 one-way panels one guard unit and 215 neo monitors in this case this is a big installation in singapore of 700 apartments so uh, two really big buildings some two buildings in vietnam luxury ones uh, this is next to to our office in hq in spain there are two different buildings those are buildings with 245 apartments and four panels this is a big project in india uh, with uh, 472 one-way panels and 472 10-inch monitors school in saudi arabia so not only residents also schools offices etc in in jeddah with 24 touch panels and 145 neo monitors another installation in oman with 130 width monitors and very important uh, this is so this is a pre presentation but you can get much more information about the system in in its micro site which is very easy to remember meet.fermax.com where you can find all the manuals of the products the data sheets and the catalogs and all the possibilities that the system gives us in different languages so a small site but very simple and it contains a lot of information and i strongly recommend you to to visit and also to remind you that we have a technical presentation 
where we explain how all this configuration is possible so we go into each of the of the possibilities that the system offers and for installers how to how to do the configuration there also in the website we have the tender specs of the system catalogs data sheets manuals of each of the products we also have some marketing tools so demo suite cases showing our different panels and monitors for visiting the customers and that was all thank you for attending for seeing this video webinar hope you you enjoyed and you have this you got some useful information if you need more information just contact us in our sales support or technical support we'll be happy to help you thank you and bye bye